All right, let's start. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is March 27th. It is 3.30 p.m. We are here live from HQ3 with John Feidelberg. Hello, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to sit. I don't. How does Francis? I thought that sit? looked nice. That looked, I feel like I looked a little too casual. Don't base it oh, on no. Francis. <laughs> We're you having be as you casual as, a, as you want. As a departure from it's a Francis. very casual podcast. Yeah. Is yeah. this your podcast voice? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think that's how I always started out. Yeah. <laughs> Francis wishes he could dress like you, brother. <laughs> Francis actually told me the other day. He's like, "You're you're dressing better and better lately." I was like, "Thank you very much, Francis." Yeah. Francis loves to comment on what other men are wearing. <laughs> I do too. I can't, I can't hate on that, <laughs> dude. I, I've been getting annoyed as fuck with what people say about my outfits. <laughs> It's either like you look like you just crawled out of a homeless shelter or it's like, oh, Sass looks like he just raided his dad's closet. It's like, what do you want me to fucking wear? You're dressing better. I, I just, we I'm wearing, this is a normal outfit. That's what I wear every single day. <laughs> yeah, it is very normal. It's a complete, I'm wearing jeans, a shirt, and a jacket. <laughs> I think you look nice. But they know, but people in the comments will be like, oh, Sass looks like he's about to go uh, <laughs> protest against fucking homeless people or some shit i, I can see that it's i can always see. this looks very much like a dad where like affordable housing is moving into the neighborhood no <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Nah, Get I, that. I don't know what the alternatives <laughs> to wear are <laughs> like it's not you're not protesting but you'd be at like a city council no <laughs> no this is crazy right guys <laughs> i don't know what else to i literally have dressed the exact same my entire life <laughs> and it's like sometimes i'll wear a collared shirt sometimes i won't you have and two if i seasons. wear a collared shirt it's He's protesting against affordable housing, and if it's not, it's he just look. He looks like he just crawled out of a homeless shelter. <laughs> it's your you have your North Face hat season and the the rest of your seasons. Someone commented yesterday on the fucking out of order, and they were like, "Sass couldn't," or today, I guess they were like, "Sass couldn't even fix his hair for the character." My hair looked completely normal. I think you looked. I thought, what I, looked? I told what you was wrong times. with my hair? I know. I, I had gel in already. I couldn't double gel. <laughs> double gel would be crazy. Double gel would be a layer of wax over my hair. Your hair goes one have speed, Lego hair. too. It's fine. You have I, one speed hair. I actually have an article of your clothing at my apartment. and There's no way. There is. No, it's, there's, it, I promise you, you don't. It's a Bill sweatshirt. It's not mine, then. It's it's a 100% yours. Why the fuck would you have somebody else's Bill sweatshirt? You're the only person that wears a Bill sweatshirt. Oh, you know, maybe I think it was someone sent me it and we used it for a sketch. It's pretty old and ratty. I don't, it's definitely not mine. <laughs> okay. I, dude, I have the amount of clothes that I have. I'm not leaving clothes anywhere <laughs> and not following up immediately to get them back. <laughs> I've always assumed it was yours. And, and someone was over this weekend and they were like, they're like, this isn't yours. Like, you like, you're like stuck out in my, yeah. in my apartment being like, what, what is this? Like, it's sassy. Is it shitty or is it like a cool vintage? It's to cool. It? It's, it's torn apart, but in a cool way. Yeah. No, like, I've only got two Bill sweatshirts and they're both accounted for. I know where they're at. <laughs> and they're both at my house on the floor. <laughs> Tracking devices on yeah. those bad boys. Whatever. Small minded people talk about what people wear. Big minded people talk about ideas and huge minded people talk about fucking. Help me out here, brother. Finish land, land the plane. Yeah, all I know is that you could come in here wearing a full on suit, like a Herb Brooks suit, and no one would even comment about it. And then I could be wearing like a t shirt that day and be like, Where do you get that t shirt? The fucking Salvation Army? Fucking homeless pig. <laughs> I think people are just have a fascination about you and uh, they don't get enough of you, which I think is something you've done well is you've created a scarcity of yourself. There's like a a lit just a, a finite amount of little sass in the world and people want it people I, want to grab that's it how it should be strongly agree with that oh yeah, yeah. we're a oversaturated bunch over here <laughs> we're just <laughs> dumb oh, i think it's the the pure narcissism the unbridled narcissism of thinking that the world always needs more of you oh yeah is a crazy thing to think but Dude, uh, there was a time in my life where i was like if i stop tweeting so much <laughs> What are they gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't tweeted in four hours. <laughs> like, bro, there was a time where I was like, I was like, if I don't tweet first thing in the morning, people won't know I'm awake. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. I used to be like that. Like, I, uh, yeah, I was like that for a while. It was, it's uh, for a while. I was like, if I don't tweet thought. for a day, people are gonna think I'm dead. Oh, like. But it was probably true. Yes, that because I was tweeting so much that if I didn't tweet for a day, something probably bad happened. That's what I I, yeah. I had to get away from that. Where I was just like, was it job accountability or just like the self-absorbed 
thought of just people people need to hear what I'm saying or I need to get or or is it just like I need to get a shot up for the day? I need to start getting my shots up cuz the longer you wait, the more pressure there is on your first shot. That's true. But you I know? like to think it started as job accountability. Like I just had to like show Dave I was up and yeah, doing yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And then it definitely became self-absorbed. Like I like to think it had uh uh conception yeah. in, in like a a valid place and then it became pure narcissism. The the worst is when you would like wake up a little bit unseasonably early and so you'd have to get one off before you're out of bed yeah. just to like prove to the world that you were up and tweeting oh, yeah. like I'm a fucking productive member of society yeah. <laughs> at 8:30. <8:30. laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm still drunk, but like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But even if you like prove that you were up at eight o'clock or something like that, there's always somebody who's there's always Captain Cons who's like, like <laughs> oh, I was yeah. up at fucking five thirty. Yeah. Cheap well it's always someone. people with kids. Dogs. That doesn't count. It doesn't count waking up early if you have kids. Or if you were ever in the armed services yeah. or whatever. Like you're just scared that you're going to die or something yeah, exactly. like that. Or you're going to get chewed out. Yeah, or if you take a nap. Outside. <laughs> yeah. If you take yes. a nap, it does not. It, dude, my dad would always be like, be like, I was up at four o'clock this morning. I was like, and you'll be asleep on the couch at three, dude. Oh, I, yeah. When I'm up, I'm up <laughs> yeah. for the day, bro. That shit drives me nuts. <laughs> yeah. The shit where people are, it's like, like that's like the whole like. Oh, those like Instagram billionaire mindset people who are like, oh, I wake up at 4 a.m. And it's like, yeah, you go to bed at 7. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're missing half the day. <laughs> like, there's nothing in prep. You're still sleeping as much as I'm sleeping. You just have worse you hours of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're missing if the If you prime weren't time making hours. these videos, people would be like, oh, that something's wrong with that guy. <laughs> people would be like, yeah, see, he has a fucked up sleep schedule. He's, he's manic. Yeah. I don't know what, what it is about the early morning that people kind of feel like they're they need to own the day or that like is like this mark of i guess it's just the suffering of having to depart from sleep that you're like leaving sleep behind like that sucks so like people feel like they did something hard yeah. and they want like a badge for it or something oh yeah there is a niceness to i appreciate being up and it does, to, to me it doesn't to me it doesn't matter what side of the day it's on but i like being up when no one else is up Yes. I typically, I'm typically the other side at the of nighttime. It, where it's like 4 a.m. Yeah, but yeah. Like, where you get that, you that that's like the only time I can enjoy things. Yeah, yeah me like, too. With a phone, with like I always feel like I should be doing something else, but like from midnight to 7 a.m. Again, for whatever reason, I'm up either in that side area. of it. It could be either either end. I'm like, this is my happy place. Yeah, yes. I'm the same way. 3 a.m. I won't even go to, I'll stay awake longer just to be like, I'm going to go on my phone for even longer now. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm having so I'm gonna much fun. I'm going to beat you all. I'm going to beat everybody who has, yeah. who's going to sleep. Yeah. You weaklings. <laughs> I love to watch a movie. Uh, I love to w wake up. Like if I wake up early for some reason, I'll like throwing on a movie that feels like stolen time. Getting a movie done by like nine or nine 30 or something like that. I do it every morning. You you watch a movie every I, morning? I like started waking I started sleep taping. So I wake up earlier now. I tape up the mouth. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't it, understand that at all. I would that, die Francis if I does tried that too. To do that. No, dude. It's <laughs> Francis does it too. It's lunatic. It's it is. I did it because I'm I'm such a snorer, and I, I read. I'm sure I read the book that Francis read as well. Breathe, and it's just like it's life changing. I actually don't really find it that life changing, but I almost find it as like a like it makes me fall asleep. Like when I put tape on my mouth, it's like my body knows, like, go to bed now. It's because you're passing out. Yeah, you're suffocating. Is you're chloroforming yeah. yourself. <laughs> but I you're get up literally at literally like, dying. <laughs> <laughs> I get up at like seven a.m. now, and for I, I don't, I don't have anything to do. I have no one I have to answer to. So first thing I do every morning is watch a movie. I watched Kong Skull, Skull Island yesterday. I, I like to start with an action movie. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, the whenever you see me, the kind of energy I'm walking around with is like, I watched an action movie this morning instead yeah. of having coffee. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the same way. I do that. I, I, I wake up and I like think it's like I'm being productive. Like I'll get out of bed at like nine and then I'll just sit on my couch and watch YouTube videos for <laughs> three. I watched an hour and a half podcast this morning, just front the to back. Uh, the Bonfire. Nice. Yeah. Nice. A new one or a classic? A uh, new one. Nice. With, with uh, Kelly. With Bobby Kelly, Bobby Kelly, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> isn't that a YouTube? Isn't that a, a, a serious show? I didn't know it was a podcast. They put out some of the that. interviews on you on YouTube. Fuck yes, yeah. Good interview. Yeah, Shane. 
Classic. I had to show my support. <laughs> he's he's he needs all the support he can get right now <laughs> from you. Yeah, from me and the other twenty million people. <laughs> and how will people know if you didn't talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> you need to let people know. But go out and buy his tickets. Yeah, seriously, go, he go can use check out his shows. Yeah. I, I bought tickets to Shane's show this weekend. Did you really? Yeah, because I sent him a text asking for him. He didn't reply, so I bought them, and they were expensive. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he told me how much he paid for them, and I was like, I think Shane would be mad. If he knew <laughs> I didn't want to be. Like, oh, like a that fucking much like much. double tax needy like when hey, you hey, hey. when you went in Baltimore how, did you pay for him? Uh, we were like a big group, so I think I paid for like half of them, and I like got a, like a couple of them for free. Or like I paid for like six of them. Got like, his group is free. four people, and you pay for all of them. Yes, yeah. obviously four figs. Oh yeah, yeah, mid four figs. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's a smaller two venue. Two grand a ticket. That's Diego's salary. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, it wasn't two grand. No, it was two grand total. It two was, grand total? It was... It's a, cause it's, I think it's a rescheduled show, so it's a smaller venue than he. It's also it's, it's a smaller venue than he should be doing, but it's a. Big it's not a small. Still. It's a three thousand yeah, person. It's, room. it's the way yeah. theater. It's a big. <laughs> yeah. But my my, my my buddies who I'm going with texted me and he's like, because he doesn't really like he not doesn't know comedy like or does not know it, but isn't. As immersed in it as we are, right? And he's like, "Is Bargazzi that?" Because Bargazzi was in Boston this weekend, yeah. And he's like, "Is Bargazzi that much bigger than Shane?" That because Bargazzi did two sold out at TD Garden, yeah. Dude, he did a three p.m. show there, really on Sunday. Yeah. So maybe he did more than two. I just assumed he did yeah. two nights if he's doing days. Too. I think he would. No, I think he just did Sunday. Oh, he just did the one. I think. I think he did three p.m. and then like a night show too. Oh, oh, oh okay. I see. I, see. So I think. I'm shows. not positive. The, the text I didn't know. The text said he did multiple sold out at TD yeah. Garden, and I was like, "Fuck!" I didn't even realize. And he did the round. Like dead center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did the center stage, like, and he does these, like, stages, like, the size of that fucking table right there. Because he wants to, he gets, like, the capacity record. Oh, and just get, like, people sitting on each like, other's he'll laps, do, like, as close yeah. to you as possible. Like, when we saw, when we went to, or I guess, I mean, you went, we didn't go together, but you went to that Pete Davidson 9 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was, like, the back, the back of MSG was completely empty. Right. Because they have the stage at the end. Right. Some people do, the, when they do the center, they can fill the entire arena and they can fill the floor seats. How do you even do that? Do you just stand on a carousel and get rotated to everyone? Some of them or? do spin. Really? Yeah, that's a real thing. Some of them spin. What the fuck? Who yeah. spins? They, some of them. Bill Burr had a story about like the only time he's ever uh, gone up drunk was it was a spinning a spinning thing. And it, said, <laughs> it was like it was fucking him up so much because he was drunk doing jokes and then also he's meanwhile he's just rotating <laughs> ma- like without moving the whole time. Imagine having to do crowd work and then having to spot someone like a figure skater to like, <laughs> around and fucking go back to that. Person. It would be funny if it malfunctioned and it's just you <laughs> 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 need firefighters to come in and save you from yeah. your stage. <laughs> so Bargas, he 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 sells that much. Dude. More like it's. I, I think he has the record. I don't. I don't know about Bridgestone. Like, Bridgestone. Yeah, yeah. He has the record. Because I was there. I was doing Zanies when he did it. Oh really? Yeah. And I was at a bar. Uh, we were at a rooftop bar during the day, and there you could see the traffic for his show, like yes. backed up like miles down Nashville. And uh, there was these two guys, and they were like sitting. They were up there at the rooftop, and they were like these two gay dudes wearing like speedos, and they were like. What is all this traffic for? And I was like, oh, I think it's like a comedy show. And they're like, oh, that guy on TikTok. And they were talking about Matt Reif. <laughs> and I was like, no, not Matt Reif. And I think I was like, no, Matt Reif could never. And now it's like he probably could do Bridgestone six times and sell it out. <laughs> Definitely could. You see, he's he's the youngest comedian to ever sell out like the LA forum at some certain time. I don't know. He like posted like a record that he had. No, that LA. sounds a lot like NFL records though. Yeah. He's like the uh, youngest first round draft pick yeah, after yeah. the fifth pick <laughs> under six feet yeah, yeah. to have 2,300 yards. In the Every whole single play in the NFL is some sort of new record. <laughs> wow. Christian McCaffrey, the first person to have over 50 rushing yards when it's only 43 degrees outside in San Francisco. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. As a white guy. He's going to want to take that game ball home after this. <laughs> McCaffrey is my favorite player to watch only because of the, the Twitter video that everyone tweets every time he runs of Stone Cold in uh, The Longest Yard. I don't think I've seen that. No, I don't I've th- seen oh. The Longest Yard, the one with Adam Sandler. Yeah. Yeah. But the, when Stone Cold, like, 
I don't know, during, in the final game has some run and he just looks at the sidelines and goes, that's how a white boy runs. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Dude, you know, we're about to get a new, uh, a new white boy cornerback in this year's NFL draft. A, really? A first round pick cornerback. No. This dude from Iowa, this dude, Cooper DeGene. Uh, he's like this. A what boy? A, a, a white boy. Cooper DeGene? Yeah, Cooper DeGene. Believe it or not. That sounds too white <laughs> yeah, to me. Sounds, he sounds like he's from the bayou. Yeah. <laughs> Cooper DeGene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like yeah. He's from low country Louisiana, but this is like a white boy who has like a fucking like incredible, uh, like he's just in, insanely athletic. He went to Iowa, but he like returns punts, has a beautiful body. What incredible are the Eagles going to draft him? <laughs> huh? Are the Eagles going to draft him? I want them too badly. He's yeah, like, he must not be a high pick if you know this guy. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm only focusing on the first like three picks. Because the Patriots need a quarterback and you guys are- Yeah, you're, you're focusing on corners. Yeah, because we have our quarterback. We don't need a fucking- I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you got your quarterback for now. I was going to say, you said, that very, you said that confidently like it was yeah. nine months ago. You got your quarterback like the Cowboys have their quarterback. Bro, <laughs> stop this. <laughs> stop this madness. You had 38 <laughs> touchdowns last year. Yeah. It took, Mac, Mac Jones hasn't had 38 touchdowns in his career. And Mac, Jones, down, Mac Jones, I don't care about like Jacksonville Jaguars back at QB. <laughs> <Now>. <laughs> cares about him? <laughs> you guys are going to draft fucking Drake May, and you're going to fucking like it. I... I, I I don't watch any college football, so I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I do know I want Jaden Daniels. Yeah, me too. We, I've, I've been watching all the tape. <laughs> yeah. I've been watching. I don't. I didn't watch any college football either, but I've watched all their highlights. Because you boys have never known the joy of having a black quarterback. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, yeah. I have, dude. Michael Bishop. Oh, yeah, Bishop. <laughs> Brissett. Was Brissett? Uh, Brissett, yeah. Brissett had a couple preseason games. Michael Bishop, the Hail Mary specialist, was uh, – Bro, there was a time, probably like 2000, 2001, if you asked 12-year-old me – do like, you want Tom Brady or Michael Bishop? I was like, fucking ship Brady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me the video game <laughs> Give guy. Give me the Kent State guy. <laughs> yeah, he can just roll out and fucking launch bombs. Michael Bishop was the best. Having a black quarterback is infinitely more fun. If you're, I mean, not, I mean, if your quarterback is great, but if if he's not Tom Brady or like Patrick Mahomes or something like Patrick that. Patrick Mahomes isn't white. Dude, if we get, <laughs> if we get Jaden Daniels. Not if you ask the black community. But <laughs> <laughs> if we get Jaden Daniels. Has anyone rebranded faster than New England Patriots did? Black head coach, black quarterback. We yeah. went from being the MAGA team, the white supremacist yeah. team. White, we had white wide receivers, bro. Yeah, yeah. If we flipped. Now that you're fully Antifa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you guys are fucking. It would be a crazy rebrand. Burning down yeah. the police station. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, deep on the police jersey. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. That would be fucking sick. <laughs> I would be happy with with Drake May, Jaden Daniels, or Michael Penix Jr. But. JJ McCarthy then. No, JJ McCarthy, I would I JJ McCarthy, I just wouldn't watch football this year. JJ McCarthy would be crazy. I uh, I people he, are saying that he's gonna go he, high, a lot second, higher. He's they're saying he's gonna go second now. Yeah, he went he for threw, plus twenty two hundred five passes a game. Yeah, people are saying that like they're like hyping him up now. Like apparently his odds to get picked in the first round went from plus twelve hundred to plus two or plus two hundred four hundred. No, plus four hundred. Plus four hundred. It went from the plus twenty two hundred to plus four hundred. Yeah. In like the last day. Dude, I, I again I watched I watched I think two Michigan games this year, maybe three. All you gotta that's do is look at people. JJ McCarthy and know he's not gonna be good <laughs> yeah. in the NFL. Well he did beat depression. So that's he beat true. depression, which is like tougher than any it. defender. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. by Googling <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was uh, I was grinding some tape of one of the Michigan receivers, dude, and McCarthy pops out on tape, dude. You guys would be all right getting McCarthy. I think he might be nice. We don't want McCarthy. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to wait. Yeah, no. You yeah, want to? You want to just try it out? Yeah. I don't want to wait at all. <laughs> You're like a, a white girl going to college. Yeah, exactly, after her, she's bro. Like, Let me just try out with a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just don't want another fucking Zach Wilson or Mac Jones, Bailey Zappi. Yeah. Like all these failure white quarterbacks. And they all look, they like all Drake May, JJ McCarthy, they look exactly like all of those guys. What? You mean white? White, what? same fucking baby face, same. What like kind of face do you want? Tough. tough. Yeah. <laughs> Came out of the project. Yeah. What's a, what's like a, fa no, what's an example of a white guy that doesn't look like the rest of those dudes? Like what's a white guy face that you want? Tom Brady. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's baby faced and fucking, what? What do you yeah, mean? Not young, even young Brady. The young young Brady looked like Drake May. Before like, he had the buccal no. fat removed? Yeah. No, yeah. that was because Tom Brady was ugly back then. That makes it better. We so don't want one of these like boy? hot young dudes. So like when Carson Wentz came out, he was like ugly. Yeah, like, you want like face. a you want an ugly guy who's from like the middle of fucking nowhere. But the there's <laughs> like I actually talked about this recently. There was there was a this is an article from a while back, but it was about the um what do you call this? The uh symmetry. 
by oh, the yeah, symmetry yeah. of the faces of quarterbacks. Yeah. It's basically a study to find out if football coaches just pick the hot guy to put him in quarterback. Oh, absolutely. The hot kid. Yeah. And it was like, let, let I'm going to make up numbers, but the ratio is going to be fairly accurate, where it's like, say the average face is 94% symmetrical. Yeah. The average quarterback's face is 99% symmetrical. Yeah. And it was just like, at a young age, the coach just picks, where's the hot kid? Yeah. <laughs> He's QB. <laughs> it's not a problem. I mean, dude, it's got to be. fuck this kid? <laughs> Would I want to get under his center? <laughs> you got to have like a, a hot level of confidence to be able to be like, I'm going to be quarterback. Yeah. Most people would not even consider that as an like even an idea of being quarterback. I remember the first day of like football tryouts when I was or like football practice when I was in like sixth grade or seventh grade. They're like, okay, everybody thinks they could be quarterback. Like, line up in these two lines, and I I was like, yeah, like let me fucking throw some balls. Yeah. Immediately, the coach was like, why don't you go take some reps with the receivers? Like, <laughs> he knew I wasn't going to be a fucking receiver, yeah. but he knew I, for sure I wasn't going to be a quarterback with this unsymmetrical face, dude. Yeah, you put a fucking mirror down the middle of my face. It looks like two different people. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like two different human beings fully. Yeah. I had no chance. <laughs> I was I was never even confident enough to try and play football. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nah, it's not definitely not my sport. Well, you didn't probably didn't get cut from soccer. I got cut from soccer. Oh like, no, I didn't play soccer either. You got cut from soccer and went to football? Yes, dude. I I feel like that doesn't happen a lot. No. It was bad. I think our football team was like we need guys Really? You're a fucking chubby ass and fucking slide over. <laughs> you were a chubby boy? <laughs> yeah, I was a chubby uh, sixth grader. Before they, I got on Adderall, I was I was chubby. <laughs> and the Adderall got me fucking slim and smart. Oh, yeah, my Adderall got me real slim. I was like 120 pounds in like ninth grade. Yeah. And then I gained 30 pounds after I quit Adderall. And my my uh, doctor was like, yeah, you're gaining weight like really. Like you probably should start dieting. <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe it had to do with the fact that I weighed 100 pounds when I was in ninth grade. <laughs> So it was like high level amphetamines yeah. that would have made Hitler blush. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking good shit that you were giving yeah. me. Taking like the max dosage of Adderall when you're 13 years old. Just rocking back and forth <laughs> like yeah. Hitler at the Olympics. Yeah. Dude, I never had any of that until I, I, I got an Adderall script like for fun when I was older. Yeah. Like I like like one of those like I was like 20. Yeah. And was like, hey, I can't focus. And he was like, here's Adderall. But yeah, that right. was, I never had any of that shit as a kid. I don't even get taking Adderall for fun. Like I, I think it, I think I hated it so much when I was younger that it made it not, I made me not want to take it for fun. I've taken it, drinking. Yeah, and it doesn't make it more. It just makes me like anxious. It, and oh, then it's it makes awful. me, it makes me like want to drink it more so hard. Yeah, it makes me like need to drink more to like ease the tenseness yeah, yeah. from the Adderall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like this isn't fun. It's just making, and then I just wake up more hungover than I've ever been. Like my hands are tingling. <laughs> it's such a vicious cycle where you're like. I want to drink more, so I'll take this amphetamine. But this amphetamine's making me anxious, so I got to drink more to calm yeah, myself down. Yeah, exactly. But now I'm tired, so I got to take an amphetamine. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, uh, this that shit is sir. vicious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't fuck with that or all stuff at all. But they, your body got burnt out at a very young age. I mean, yeah, I took everything. I took Adderall, Vivance, Concerta. Jeez. I mean, I remember the day I took Vivance so clearly. I remember uh, it was like my doctor was making me go through like a trial run. Because, like, Adderall wasn't really working, or I didn't like Adderall. So, like, all right, we're going to try you on Vyvanse. And I remember taking, I still remember even what, what the pill looked like. Because it fucked me up so bad that I just had to lay down the entire day. <laughs> and my mom was, like, calling the doctor, being like, we're never giving him this again. <laughs> I remember I took a, a, a Stratera, or, or no, I might have been, I don't even know what the fuck it was. But they gave me one of those when I was, like, 14. And I remember being in church, being like... I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my parents took me home from church. <laughs> it was so bad that they sent me home from fucking church. Well, that's the thing is it, it doesn't make it like you just get depressed. Yeah. That was when my mom made let me finally let me stop taking it was because I went to the doctor and they were like, he has no emotions anymore. And like, we're probably gonna have to give him an antidepressant on top of it. My mom was like, no, we're not. Dude, we're not giving him antidepressants and Adderall at the same time. <laughs> we're gonna when stack he's the 13 bills. years old. We're going to give him the shit that killed Belushi. Yeah. A little fast, a little slow. Get him going. Yeah. Dude, I, I remember when I, I took a uh, acne medication. I didn't even have bad acne. I had like a pimple or two, which I don't think is technically acne. Accutane? Yeah. And it, it wasn't Accutane. It was something, but like they were like, like the side effect of this is uh, you're going to have some suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Just and I was like, fucking worth it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. To get rid of this pimple. Yeah. The, they're going to make fun of me in school, so I'm going to be suicidal either <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that, I don't know what was in those medicines, but I remember it completely changing kids' personalities, the acne yeah. medicine, 
And I remember like some kids, like their hair would get curly. Like they would go from like straight hair or like their hair would get straight. Like their hair would change from like the acne medicine. Like they would go to like having like kinked up Shirley Temple, like black kid hair. But like- from, Maybe it's something with the oils. Maybe. I, mean, I, I have no that idea. That would make, that was pretty smart. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably not true. <laughs> yeah, but it's like- it's <laughs> sound, That sounded good. <laughs> That's more impressive to have something that makes sense, but isn't true. Like well, isn't, it connection. probably, I'm assuming the acne medication probably stops the oils yeah. coming out of your skin. So maybe it stops the hair too. No, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. But either. it was weird just seeing new kids. It's like you don't have acne, but you yeah. look like a whole new fucking person. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, you guys are talking about the, uh, like how your parents reacted to your Adderall prescription. Mine was, as I said, I got it much later in life. So I wasn't living at home. I had like a like a beach house in Newport. And my mom, we didn't lock our doors or anything like that. And my mom had come over just like surprised me for dinner one night. And I had gotten my Adderall prescription like a week earlier. Yeah. And she went into our house and it was literally, we hadn't cleaned up. We all went to work the next day. Like we had a party before. And I got home from work and she was just sitting at our kitchen table in front of a mirror with lines of my Adderall on it that oh, we had just no. like broken up and it was just like oh, no. and she's like what the fuck and I was like I didn't know you were coming over oh you were uh, <laughs> <laughs> had you not surprised me I definitely would have cleaned all this, this is up. actually your fault mom yeah. <laughs> you were snoring it Yo, bro, of we course were, we were snoring a lot of Adderall that's dude. crazy <laughs> Adderall is it's nice to snort yeah. Diet Coke dude we no. went through a I went yeah. through like a no. fucking it wasn't ketamine. We went through a phase of snorting like it was something very minty. I don't remember what it was. Bro, we used to snort. Oh, like, I did that with you. Clonopin. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, clonopin's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, definitely was not snorting clonopin with you. <laughs> no. Snus. We, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we snorted snus. Snus, yes. yes. Snus. Yeah, no, I snorted a lot of stuff. Yeah, snus, yeah. Was, snus was cool. So it didn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely weren't doing the Klonopin. <laughs> but I think that uh, Adderall is like almost like soft and approachable. I'd take Adderall before a rap battle. It was like a nice boost of like a performance enhancing drug, like makes you super focused. You're not forgetting anything. You're not really going crazy. Then I, I have one rap battle where I fucking took a, a, a Vivance beforehand. Yeah. And my jaw was literally just like swinging oh, the yeah. entire time. I didn't forget a fucking word. <laughs> yeah. I didn't fucking mess up at all. Yeah. I was fucking perfect, but I was like chugging water out of a fucking gallon container the entire time. Yeah. I was just fucking chomping on gum. I could never. Whole, you can't uh, hold anything because you just break it immediately. Yeah, yeah. Some shit. <laughs> fucking I could never sand. take like that before doing stand up. I would have a panic attack on stage for sure. I can't even drink coffee before doing stand up. Really? And if I have to drink it like right in the morning, or really? else I get on stage and I'll be like jittery as hell and sweating. I think I could drink a cup of coffee at like like ten o'clock at night and go to bed at like eleven thirty. No, that yeah. I don't have that problem either. It just heightens my nerves. Oh, just your anxiety. Yeah, I know some people just can't have coffee. Like if they have it at like noon, they're like, no, I'll be up all night. I can't oh, have yeah. it at any point. Really? Despite like my experience with amphetamines and things like that, which I'm fine. That I can like. Fucking do a line and go to bed at like, like <laughs> yeah. I go to bed yeah. right away. But like, if I if I have coffee, I get wired and jittery. Like for really? some reason, caffeine and I don't don't mix. You don't have any caffeine. I don't. I don't like avoid it. Like I I don't really I don't really like soda. I basically just drink water. Damn. But, but like, it's not. You know, I I won't collapse if you're like you want a coke. I'll make sure. Yeah, but it is. But I hope not. Coke has like thirty milligrams of caffeine in it, Max. Is that a lot or a little? It's so little. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, maybe it that's is. Why it, that's not... <laughs> What's a coffee have? Uh, coffee's like a hundred ten. Really? Ninety? Sixty? Oh, maybe it's a Red Bull's one hundred ten. <laughs> Red Bull actually doesn't bother me. Red Bull doesn't bother me at all. That's yeah. why I drink Red Bull. Coffee fucks me up, but I still really? like coffee. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a little different vibration of coffee. If I have one too many sips of coffee, it's days over. Oh, but you know what I can do? Espresso. That's crazy. Like yeah. espresso martinis or espresso? Both. Espresso martinis are like uh, the ultimate confusion for your body. Yeah. Like you're just throwing your body into a fucking <laughs> massive question mark. Bro, yeah. one, one time on like a Sunday at, in, in Newport at this uh, bar called Castle Hill, me and my buddy had like, we like went drink for drink with espresso martinis. We had like probably like nine each. Oh, and this was I was young, and this was like he called me 
like three days later. We just didn't talk for like three days. And he's like, what have you been doing? And I was like, I have been laying in bed, shivering, shaking. Yeah. And he's like, okay, me too. I Googled it. <laughs> like, we were both like scared to tell each other how bad shape we were in. He's like, I Googled it. I'm pretty sure we have caffeine poisoning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I mean, that's so much caffeine. Nine yeah. espresso more. I mean, nine espressos would like kill someone. Yes, that, that's like the Asian teens who die from jerking off yeah. 23 times in a day. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That's just the... Uh, an unnecessarily overload for your body. Right. It was it was a bad day. You know what I used to drink? It was a great drink. day. It was a bad yeah. next few days after that. I used to drink these uh these rain energy drinks. It, R-E-I-G-N. Oh, I knew it wasn't spelled right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew it wasn't just spelled like a normal fucking They spell those like apps and rapper yeah. names. They just spelled those fuck me up. Nick used to drink them too. And I remember me and Nick would drink them, and he'd have to like we'd have to like he'd. I remember seeing him just leaving the office, and I'd be like, "Yeah, he had too much of the rain." <laughs> I mean, do those things? Those are three hundred milligrams of caffeine what? per can. Yeah, and I would drink, <laughs> I would drink them um, like I would drink. I had it down to like where in the can was enough for them to be like, I got to throw it away now because yeah. it tasted so good that you'd keep drinking it. But I'm like, no, I got to throw it away or else I'm gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> and I mean, dude, those would. Fuck Why you are up. you doing that? Well, so I, good. The taste I was gonna say so good. What percentage of humanity, of adult humanity, do you think is always walking this tightrope that it feels like everyone here is walking where it's like, I don't want to feel normal, but I don't like, like everyone. Oh, everyone. I think, dude, here it's probably less than it is outside. Really? Oh, yeah. Of like, just like, like what substances can I take? Like, does anyone like... What percentage of people are just walking around raw dog in the day? But dude, day? Uh, I Zero. even think that the people who are <laughs> raw dog in the day, people who are like I I meditate. That's doing it too. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. doing it. If you're if you're like meditating trying to get to like a zen like place or a runner's high, even those people are trying to get a high or like experience nirvana. Like people who are raw dog and just being like I'm just going to be completely natural through the rest of my life are still trying to get to a different plane. Nobody wants to be just sober. <laughs> yeah. no. Nobody yeah. wants to just be normal at all. It all started with our Accutane prescriptions. <laughs> we were like, yeah. I can never feel Hair normal. Starts curling. Dude, the, the people that I know that that like have normal jobs, it's like they all they they I, they tell me about it. It's like they wake up, it's fucking iced coffee all day. All day. It's just, oh, I got to go get a new coffee. Going to go get a coffee. Going to get a coffee. Zin the entire, mm. it's Zin and iced coffee all day. No food, nothing. <laughs> and then they get off work and they go get beers. Uh, it is, it's like, why as, They're why we as a people can't all we day. just exist? Yeah, I think I, just the option of, of other st stuff going on. And I think it happens less in here because people have the, uh, like the, fame they're getting hunger. attention yeah. yeah they're like the attention which also is just like another high yeah like yeah. they're just getting the high of they're getting like the same type of serotonin or whatever fucking hit to the brain from the fucking scroll or from somebody liking their shit or yeah. trying to get a fucking ton of retweets or some shit like so that you would argue that inside these walls we're more mentally stable than what's outside? No, I don't no, think No, no, I think just less fucked up off drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's mentally stable in here. Yeah, because I don't think it's, this isn't like a mind-numbing job. So people have an easier time just getting through the day. Okay, I see what you're saying. When outside, sense. it's just fucking, they're up at seven, they're up at six in the morning, oh. zen, coffee, instantly, as soon as they get out of bed, which that has to be just a crazy combo. Yeah. <laughs> I do, do that. I mean, you probably, or I guess you don't have to have caffeine. I do. I'll do the nicotine right up. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be, nicotine will be the last thing in my mouth before bed, first thing in the morning. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how I am, yeah. too. Yeah. I'm well, hitting my jewel as I'm falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm, as soon as I open my eyes, I'm grasping, I'm looking for it in the bed. I'm also <laughs> eating. So it, it is like, I'll eat quick. I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll fall asleep with food a lot. Like, it's usually, I try and keep it a little healthier. Like, I'll do a popsicle, maybe. Yeah. I'll do- What I'll is do. the unhealthy version of that? <laughs> Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah, they had two grandma grandma slices of pizza. Just, oh, okay. like, in bed. But, like, it's, it's I can't fall asleep unless I've, like, just eaten. And what? It has, Soder has a yeah, joke Yeah, did you see that? that, Soder? I was just about to bring that up. Yeah. Soder bring <laughs> like, he, and I, I remember when he, because that's on Son of a Gary, and I remember hearing it, it's a little older, and I remember being like, I don't think- eating's good before bed because like I, I was thinking of it as like it gives you energy yeah and then i don't know something happened with me in the last five years or whatever where it's like i have to eat right away before i fall asleep That's have you tried crazy. not doing it yeah and like i'll I, i'll do it i'll probably three nights a week i'll get in bed 
and think we're just gonna we're gonna raw dog sleep tonight and i'll i'll toss and turn for like an hour and i'll be like i'll go get a popsicle real quick and <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> and i eat the popsicle and bro like before that popsicle's gone i'm out that's it's, crazy. It's what? Yeah. I wonder what's happening in your body. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, I, I get like the, spike? like eating no, two slices. Freeze. I'm doing sugar freeze. I'm doing the outshines. Really? Yeah. Eating two slices of pizza before going to bed definitely helps you fall asleep because it was pass out. But a popsicle, I can't see that doing anything. I mean, it's just a glass of fucking water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pink water. Yeah. <laughs> but pizza doesn't wake you up three hours later with an esophageal burn. No, I've been doing the, the, uh, the uh, I do the meprazol. I do. I got all kinds of stuff going on in here. Yeah. So you're going. So you're going two slices of pizza and then some medication to keep you down after. No, I do the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just a trank in the neck. To yeah. Go with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm high the whole time too. <laughs> oh, but no, but you're ta- and you're taping your mouth shut. That's yeah. why I'm, I'm trying to die. Man. I'm trying so hard. Yeah, you're gonna die. <laughs> I get. I get really. Here's what I do. Here's how I fall asleep, guys. I get really fucking high. I jam some carbs in my throat and I tape my mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> and I just see if I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Taping your mouth shut with pizza like still in your mouth is insane. Yeah, that's how like mobsters would kill people. Dude, they're going to find your body one day and there's going to be like pizza like coming out of your eyeballs. <laughs> and, like it, it was, he choked and there was no other way for it to get out. <laughs> is this a Prince situation? Yeah, it was coming out of his nose. I want to I want to try the, the mouth tape shut type of shit but i have like a fucking badly deviated septum so i know i need a fucking i know i need some kind of like surgery to fix it but i i'm worried that people will think that i'm getting the surgery cosmetically so i'm just not getting it so i'm just suffering through the fucking deviated septum Ron, let's talk about this because i'm in the same situation your shit's deviated and they're like you should probably get surgery and i'm and 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 they offered to me which i think is kind of fucked up and they're like by the way you can also clean it up a little bit and i was like no one fucking asked you dude yeah fuck <laughs> off what do you mean clean it up it's like, dirty like and we can we can probably shave a little bit off that nose too and i was like dude what? <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a disservice to like your future kids if you ever have any they're like daddy's nose is perfect why am i a fucking yeah. monster but you I have to give know. them a paper trail of where they're up, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, i have no no photos of me under 35 <laughs> yeah. this is all your mom's nose. fault check her genetics he's an aubrey hepparin <laughs> cute as a button knows what do you mean but the like i i want to get the surgery because i i hear like i've been told it's like it's like a new life it like, improves like, your consciousness you i've heard breathe differently yeah like, like it's literally all... there's more oxygen to one hemisphere of your brain so yes. you could like develop new creativity or like reason better like, so that's obviously super appealing but i also think it's crazy to let them go in and not fix this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, if you're in there, right? Might as well fucking fold the clothes, clean up a little bit. Right, exactly. But you're then I like, am I that kind? I can't be that guy. Yeah. Getting well, fucking a nose job. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nuts. That would be crazy. Yeah. But it's it, easy for you to say with your cute little perfect <laughs> nose. <laughs> I don't have a perfect nose at all. My yeah, nose fuck. is fucking massive. <laughs> but I do, I do have perfect breathing. <laughs> Do you? I go to the doctor, 98% or 98, 98 oxygen levels. Really? Yours must be like 85. Yeah, I'm barely breathing. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I get like it just. I think they said nothing. one side is like, uh, there's only, it's like 80% blocked or some shit like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, mine's, mine's clean like as a whistle. Like if you put your hand under, like you just don't feel air coming out of one of my yeah. nostrils. That's that, not good. That book I talked about, again, that I'm sure Francis read as well, they were talking about, it's all about breathing and all this stuff. And they said that there was it was a test to be a samurai back in the day. Before you could be approved to be a samurai, they put a feather under your nose and you had to just breathe. And if the feather moved at all, you're not a samurai. So you would have passed. What? So you basically you had to inhale and exhale so slow. But that's how like that's the best way to breathe. Is I think I think it's five breaths a minute is what you're supposed to take. God damn. And so they were like, it's really hard to do. <laughs> but you know, how many inhale. breaths do you take a minute on average? I fifteen. I, I, I would guess more. I mean, I've taken like three in this sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you're not talking, like if you're at if you're at rest, if you're re- like if you're on, like resting heart rate, laying down, it can't be more than ten breaths a minute. You think? Yeah. I don't know. I think. Uh, I mean, I've never even fucking measured it. I've never even thought about it before. Wim Hof. That that's like the, you you take like a ton of breaths and then no no breaths for like a couple minutes. Yeah. I just finished That's this. That's what Wim Hof is? Oh, yeah. yeah you breathe just like, fast and then hold it. You make yourself hyperventilate, and then you can hold your breath for like five minutes after? 
It's have you insane. ever done it? No. And then it feels, like your, it feels like your body's melting. Yeah, it's another way people get high. Yeah. People are just like breathing to get That's high. That's like how what I imagine like heroin is like. <laughs> I've only done it once or twice because it was too or? much. No. <laughs> no, but I, it's too much. I didn't, I didn't like the hyper. It felt like I was out of control. It does feel out of control. But once you're done with it, you're like, I'm fucking a god. I think yeah. I would just pass out. It feels like you're going to pass out. That's yeah. why you, you do it literally lying down on the floor because people probably do pass out from it. So if you pass out, you're just like going to sleep. <laughs> it's pretty intense. It's like this sounds like how I go to bed every night. Yeah, yeah. it's just a slice of my face with you. pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're Wim Hoffing. You're accidentally <laughs> Hoffing. Let's talk about the Gentleman. The Gentleman is a brand new TV show streaming only on Netflix. It follows criminal, drug dealing, murdering aristocrats in Britain's criminal underworld. All right, it's starring Theo James from The White Lotus, great actor. It's Guy Ritchie's brand new hit TV show. Based on his movie, they made it into a show and it is on Netflix right now. I definitely would recommend it. It's full of fucking Virgin Mary. They're saying it's Virgin Mary full of weed, Hitler's balls, cocaine chickens, and a priest with a shotgun. You'll see some crazy shit in The Gentleman, all right? I'm definitely going to check it out. I love Guy Ritchie's work. I've seen all of his stuff. This show, I've heard nothing but great things about. Go check it out now. The Gentleman is streaming right now on Netflix. Watch what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game. Don't miss The Gentleman now on Netflix. Yeah, I got to uh, get back on that. I just finished this uh, this series, uh, Rome, on uh, it was like the old HBO series or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said uh, Cleopatra kills herself in it with a uh, with like an asp or whatever. And they said she takes it's the when the snake bites you, it's forty breaths until until you die. That's how they measured it. So that means that like the person who there's somebody who comes around like literally a merchant of death, being like, "You want this to kill you? Like this won't be painful. But, like this will be quick, but like your body will bloat and it'll ruin it. Like quickest in like like most aesthetic way to do it is getting bit by the snake and." It's 40 breaths, so they've, like, counted it out. So they've seen enough people die where they, like, no, it's just 40 breaths, and then you're just fucking gone. Was this, was this, uh, was Cleopatra's death, was it a suicide, or was it she was punished and, like, had to shoot? Got suicide. To shoot. It was suicide. It was like, but it was, like, an honor. Like, they had just lost the uh, a battle, and, like, the enemies were at their gates, and so her and Mark Antony killed she themselves. Yeah, she handled it. Yeah. Honor, uh, honorable death. <laughs> and she just put a fucking snake to her titty. And fucking... That's kind of a sick way to go. Snake to titty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably hurts. You think so? Yeah. But, like, not... I mean, Mark Anthony, the way he That did, doesn't sound great. You, I, I don't want to have to have 40 more breaths <laughs> yeah, after I kill myself. <laughs> that's a very good point. That's like a long-ass suicide. I, I do like her being <laughs> conscious of what her dead body would look like. Like, that's bad bitch. She wants to have oh, a yeah. hot corpse. I don't want to yeah. be bloated in death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll go, I'll go drown myself in the Niger if I want to be <laughs> bloated. <laughs> 40 breath. I mean, for a samurai, that's like a good 10 minute fucking, <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes after the snake bites you. But uh, Mark Anthony went out, uh, actually Cleopatra did him dirty. She fucking had her, they had one last night of like, drinking and like fucking and they didn't know what they were going to do and then cleopatra sent her assistant the next morning and was like the the queen has killed herself and mark anthony was fucking her gave her two children and so uh and there was like a letter and she was like she hopes to see you soon and so mark anthony woke up and he was basically like this is a good way to cure this hangover <laughs> and he fucking had one of his soldiers like hold his knife against his stomach and just pulled it in and fucking Caught stabbed himself. Ugh. No, just like stabbed himself up through his heart and just fucking basically <laughs> disemboweled himself. Dude, so I'll take the so... fucking snake. Yeah. 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 Um, why didn't they just hang themselves? They didn't have rope back then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hanging themselves, hanging yourself isn't, isn't some fucking peaches and cream way to go. You think hanging yourself is way better than getting the snake bite? Dude, do you know that do you know that uh less than two percent of suicides are by stabbing? So when people get when people do when people die by getting stabbed. No, I don't think I did know that. When people kill themselves by like stabbing themselves to death, they they usually assume that they were murdered. And or were Japanese to be a suicide. Yeah, or they're Japanese. Because <laughs> of how brutal it is. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. That's I why would... Elliot Smith, they think that he didn't kill himself, they think that his girlfriend killed him. Interesting. Who's no Elliot one Smith? no one thinks that? 
<laughs> there's like five people on earth that think that. <laughs> but you're one Elliot of them. Smith. You don't know Elliot Smith? No. He's a singer. Really? I don't think so. It's like the whole soundtrack of Good Will Hunting. No, I don't know. Oh, it's no one coming around here. There is some new I'm going to listen to him now, though. Yeah, it's great. If you know uh, I also want to come back to something. I'm pretty sure I said the wrong name of a river recently. Yeah, yeah, and it sounded like a, <laughs> yeah. it sounded like I don't think you get away with it. It's there's the, a Nile, and then there's a Tigris. Yes. <laughs> and you said that, and you, you combine them to be a, yeah. a naughty, naughty word. I'm going to be honest. As you were explaining how Mark Anthony uh, killed himself, I was too busy in my own head having a pan and being like, dude, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of caught it at the end that he stabbed himself. But I was like, I was here going like, wait, nope, it's denial. Nope, is that? <laughs> There's I a- think I, I said it nice enough that way it doesn't have to go anywhere. But right, no, you're just not the right you name said it of perfect. the river. You said it the perfect way to dodge. <laughs> I just, I heard it and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know there was a river with that name. No, you literally combined two <laughs> real river names. The yeah. Tigris and the Nile are two... <laughs> I do like that though. Just roll on the dice. I'm like, I'm just gonna say the M word. <laughs> <a fuck." laughs> I mixed in a little bit of Niger. Like it was a couple of yeah. a couple of different words. I just blended. It was like that's got to be a river in Egypt. Right? <laughs> you said it like tiger. You said it like tiger. <laughs> if you said it like the if you said it like tiger, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> but you said it like tiger, you're good to go. Oh, oh man, I can't believe that they named the character from Winnie the Pooh that. <laughs> what Tigger? Yeah, for like children learning the English language, that's a fucking dubious name. To <laughs> I never even had the realization. Yeah, I always thought it was just normal. Well, it's probably because yeah. children aren't don't really know the N word. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I first learned the N word. Do you? yeah, it was I heard it in a rap song and I was just walking around just spitting it. <laughs> really? Yeah, and then my parents heard me say it. What they did they pissed. say? This? They got pissed. Yeah, they said you can't say that, dude. I said I don't give a shit. I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> They yeah. said that word has no R at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the uh, the when I was a kid, I I used to go to my friend's house a lot, and they were kind of white trash, and they would use racial slurs. And one of them was when we were Chinese food. Yeah, they would say we're getting blank food. Yeah, and they would use the slur for a G word or a C word. C word. Okay. And I came home after enough Chinese dinners at their house. Where I was like, hey, and I just thought it was normal. And I was like, mom and dad, can we get blank food for dinner? My mom was like, what did you just say? And I was like, blank food. She goes, are you kidding me? Do you know? Do you do you know what that means? And I was like, no. Uh, yeah, like sesame yeah. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and, was, yeah. and this is the a nice shit. moment to kind of maybe have a, a talk with your son about racial slurs and things like that. She goes, it means penis. You Whoa. want penis food, John Henry? Oh, uh, what? And I was what? like, oh my God, no. And then for like 10 more years, I thought that word meant penis. Like I was like in college when I you found started out. using it way more. <laughs> <laughs> Say, like, saying that lacrosse I, practice. I, I, I was like an adult. I might have been like 17. I might have been towards the end of high school. And I was like, wait, that word means what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, thought, I thought my whole life it just meant dick. I like, I, that would have been a good rebrand for that word if it means like delicious food and stuff like that like i think that that's like a positive rebrand yeah. if you yeah. just are mentally associating it with fucking kung pao chicken or something like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> your mom just your mom just threw your mind in a fucking loop that he loop just like yeah i guess i don't know why. what she just didn't want to tell you what it actually meant i guess she just didn't want yeah, to have that conversation that. she's probably tired she's like, i'm not fucking <laughs> yeah. dealing with this right now i'm not gonna break down the history behind the slur <laughs> racism <laughs> He'll it's like, well, eventually. why is that a bad word? It's just kind of a shortened version. Because <laughs> yeah. isn't like, uh, like, I don't even know if I could say, is the J word? What, like, gaps? Yeah, thank you. I don't think that that's, I don't think you don't have to not say that. I don't yeah. know, because I think that for some people, that's like a naughty word. Well, that's just bad because of World War II, right? Yeah. But it's just a shortened version of like. Japanese. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Jews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I don't exactly think like Jews. <laughs> it's not that bad. My, maybe my I, 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 never, I didn't even know that was a bad one. I don't know, but your your ass might be in the jackpot now. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> don't worry. I talked about a river earlier. Really. <laughs> 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 my my great grandmother wouldn't eat Chinese food because she was so racist against Japanese people. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Her brother was killed in uh, Pearl Harbor and she's like, I won't 
I won't eat it. And I was like, no, it's a completely different. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like each other either, honestly. <laughs> like she was cool about it though. We're like, you could eat all the, all the Chinese food yeah. you wanted. She wasn't going to support Japan like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not, the money's not going to their no. pockets. <laughs> it's not like the Catholic church where it all like funnels back into one. Yeah. They're sending it to the account. war fund. <laughs> yeah. Your nukes are made by one omakase yeah. at a time. It's not like if you order General Sows in East Village, it's going straight back to China. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course we'll take our 10% percent <laughs> we'd have de- like she'd come over dinner and she'd just be like we'd have we'd have order chinese food and she'd be like well i'm not eating that and she would just sit at the table with us. really i was like damn you are committed to this racism because this smells delicious i might like, get chinese food after this i'm definitely getting yeah, chinese food yeah, after this. Talking into kill it. for some chinese food right now i don't even <laughs> think it's racist of her if her fucking brother was killed oh no yeah no she's no. just riding for the colors right it's like that's gang warfare at that point she's just like no i'm buds <laughs> I'm not fucking going out like that. I'm not wearing blue. In terms of all the foods, though, like if you, if you're gonna protest one food, I think I'd be fine protesting sushi. Why? Because it's just nasty and slimy. No, I like sushi, but I could live without having sushi ever again for sure. Yes. Like sushi's not. I'll eat sushi. Sushi's what I'll order when I'm like I'm gonna be healthy today. Right. So you get, get like get some carbo. tempurid shrimp. No, <laughs> no. I'll get like a fucking. I don't know. What is the sashimi? Some of that was just the raw fish. Look at some of that. Just Dude, fish and rice. Uh, the uh, I never thought I'd like that. And then Nate's on his omakase kick. So I've, yeah. I've done a couple of omakases with him. Yeah. Is that the one where they bring out a new? Yeah, it's like one piece every Dude, time. Dude, it's like the greatest wh- thing. Ever. When do you get to a point where I've done it? And it's like, at a certain towards the end, you're like, I if can we leave? Because yeah. this is too much. This, I have. The last one, you're, and it, it, it starts getting gross. Yeah. And by like the 14th piece, you're like, I'm going to throw up. And then they hand you something that's got like eggs on it, <laughs> yeah. scallops wrapped in seaweed. And you're like this. I'll throw up if I eat this. You definitely walk away feeling like I just like I just ate an aquarium. I just ate every single thing in the sea. <laughs> yeah. I had like barracuda. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, it was great. But I think the barracuda has a nastier name and perception no and barracuda was one of the good ones but i'm saying barracuda as is just like a long fish yeah like it's not like you think of a barracuda as like a kid or something like that you think of the blue barracudas from oh yeah. Lincoln, yeah or that song like ooh barracuda like, well for a while i thought that barracuda was the only fish that had teeth like they make it out to be like oh that one's scary they have teeth most fish have teeth <laughs> and it's like striped are- bass don't have teeth and barracudas are like little bitches yeah they're just like a little like flute like they're fish. pretty they're pretty big Oh, maybe I just saw some tiny barracudas. I think barracudas can get pretty big. Really? But I think they're pretty similar in size to like pike. You're the fish guy. And pike have big ass teeth. I got a pike and I picked it up by my finger and I was like, oh shit. Really? Yeah. Some fish have like the fucking like human teeth. Oh yeah. And then you go, you Those see Those are the, the ball biters. <laughs> oh really? That, that goes viral like once every three years. Like this like it's human teeth and it bites your testicles. I don't know how real it is. I would guess probably not. Yeah, I always get spooked by that. The, the ball biters and the thought that some kind of flesh eating bacteria will swim up my penis. Oh yeah. yeah, that is a that big, actually happened to someone I know. Really? They got a, some sort of bacterial infection from the ocean. And they almost had to get their leg amputated. That's what they told their girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the ocean, man. <laughs> no, he worked on the water and his leg got fucking huge. Yeah, it's crazy. Was it was it gross? I don't know. I don't really know. I didn't, I didn't really know much about it. It was like my I was like one of my friends' dads. Then the other fish you always see are the fucking ones that are at like the like twenty thousand feet of the one with like the thing going over, and their teeth are literally like a fucking monster. Yeah, from nightmares. Yeah, like the sharpest teeth of all time that are like fucking this long. Yeah, I don't fuck with that stuff at all. I don't fuck with like the deep ocean. At all. Even like videos of it, I have to turn them off. I'm like, I can't watch that. It's too scary. <laughs> really? That shit scares the fuck out of me. Like the videos. You ever seen that video of the guy going in like the world's deepest pool? Yeah. That shit. Yeah. That, I think it's more depth with me than it is it's the, the animals down there. Yeah. But that shit is like, uh, I think space is way more scary to me because space to me is like a threat. Like there's stuff falling from outer space, black holes you could get sucked into and stuff in space. Like there's no threat of the deep ocean. I'm not going to fall to the bottom of the ocean. But there's a sh- like shark. But I'm saying I'll never go down there to like 20,000 feet. I'll never wind up down there. I don't know, man. You could go on a cruise or some shit. But even if I fall into the ocean, I'm dying before I fucking get all the way down there. Like, I'll never be down there. There's- if you got offered to go down there, would you? Like, if if like from this podcast, someone reaches out and like, I got this submarine. That's- Though after those fucking bros <laughs> got fucking pancaked in their little fucking uh, I would never even space. consider it. 
I consider it. If someone hit me up and was like, "Hey, you want to go on one of those like shark tanks where the fucking I would be like, not even not a oh, chance. Oh, I'd do that. The shark cage for yeah. sure. Not a chance. Am I doing? That? I don't even want to. Like, I would want to see. I want to see a great white in person, but I want to see it from like either the shore or from like a dock or from like a big boat. I've I've reeled a shark in before. Yeah, but not like a great white. Not a great white, but it was like a, like a I think it was a a blue shark. It's like seven feet. Big yeah, color. that's fucking huge. That's yeah. huge. That's massive. It was. I did it the week after the Martha's Vineyard sharking shark competition, and it would have won. Really? Yeah. Damn, that's cool. There's shark competitions. There's a big shark shark. Uh, There's a shit ton of sharks in Martha's Vineyard. It's like I think I think this I think the competition started after Jaws came out, but I think it's kind of like a carry on the tradition. But like, yeah, every summer there's a Martha's Vineyard shark fishing competition. How does shark eat? Nasty. What do you mean? Like, do I, people eat it? Does it taste good? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't tough, think they don't have. Know. I think they make soup out of the fins, right? Yeah, that's, that's what they do in China. I don't. I, just, I don't know if they do that in America. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they do because it's super inhumane. Yeah, <laughs> they just yeah. pull the sharks out, chop off their fins, and throw them back in the water. I mean, do we kill other animals? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least but I think the point is. Alive. I think the point is that they'd rather kill them. <laughs> yeah, they'd rather than at that point you're just. A torpedo. I bet the shark would rather fucking. <laughs> the shark's just a torpedo, just beelining for the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> There's no way to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gets eaten by everything yeah. else. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because it's literally we, like if someone pulled you out of the water, chopped off all of your limbs, and then just threw you back in the water. Well, only it's worse because you can't. Like at, le- at least you can drown. The sharks yeah, like I just have yeah. to sit here. Yeah, true. They just until sit I there die of starvation. They die, yeah, or something eats them or something. Yeah, that is funny. I guess that is kind of inhumane. Yeah, but that is it's uh, like we eat fish, uh, and like that's completely fine. No one eats sharks because they're disgusting, and people like don't eat dolphins because like they're like beautiful, but they're supposed to be like delicious, and it's inhumane to eat dolphins or something like that. Is it? Is um, it? I thought I thought mahi mahi was dolphin. Is it not? I thought mahi mahi was just like a delicious fish. I thought it was a fish too. I'm not sure. I, I think I I'm pretty sure you two are right. But it might be. It might have a face like a dolphin, kind of though. It might be like a little hybrid looking. Like th- mahi mahi does have like a dumb. Kind of punchable face. <laughs> I think I only like use not only like, exclusively, but I think most of the time I eat it, I'm in the Bahamas, so I just assume it's dolphin. Yeah, but isn't I think that they have like dolphin in Iceland or something like that? They offer it some places because it's not illegal, but it's I like inhumane, so you're not supposed. Think to... in Iceland they had some sort of food that you could eat, some sort of fish, some dolphin or something like that. Yeah, but they're like you should, even though they eat it over there, you shouldn't do it because it's inhumane or something. They got the oldest sharks in the world in Iceland. Really? really? Yeah, it's like they're like the oldest, like one of the oldest living beings on Earth. Like Megs? No, it's like, uh, like what, like Megalodon? Yeah. <laughs> I know you love action movies. <laughs> Bro, I've seen both. Um, <laughs> yeah. Another shit. No, it's it's like, uh, what is it called? It's like the green, or fuck, what is the other? Oh, Greenland shark. Yeah. And it's, uh, the, they're like 3,000, like the oldest one's like 3,000 years old or some shit. Damn. Yeah. They just have fucking shit Where are all they? over they're, them. They're like they're uh, deep as hell. You'll oh, never really? see one. But they're just around there. Yeah, just Bro, hanging you're around. Describing Megs, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Three thousand years old, massive, super deep in the water. They're not that. I don't think they're that big though. They're obviously they're not megalodon size. They're so deep. They're like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. No, I know they're below the. It's uh, I forget what it's called, but there's like. Uh, I forget what it is. A level of separation. Up. The Megs live below that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, it's a heat thing. It's a heat thing. The the water down there is warmer, and they can't really. But if there's a, if there's a hole punctured in that, and warm water comes up through here, then the megs can survive in our water. Oh, really? Yeah. And then that's when you gotta call state them. Oh, no, no, I was totally <laughs> wrong about that. That's fine. No one gives a fuck. Actually, there is probably someone at home that's like, fuck. They live till they're like five hundred. Fuck you, you idiot little Someone, sex. Someone <laughs> is like, I'm actually a shark expert, and uh, listening to this episode made me want to scream. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> I'm actually a shark myself. <laughs> yeah. <and laughs> that's not how we want to be represented. And also, by the way, Sass dresses like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a shark, and I will not be talked down to. I'm a shark by expert, and it looks protester. like he raided his dad's closet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes. Fuck them. Fucking assholes. Uh, what time are we at? Perfect. Oh, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, we can wrap it up. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for yeah, having us. Yeah, that was time. awesome. It's so easy, That flew bro. by. I thought we were like 20 minutes in, to be honest. <laughs> no, that was great. Appreciate you, bro. You're the fucking man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks guys. for coming. Any dates? Pleasure. Any yeah, dates you want to plug? Any dates? Oh, I'm actually, I'm going to be in Providence, Rhode Island next weekend, so oh, come yeah. see me there. 
Comedy Connection? Yes. Fuck yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll watch Out of Order. Watch Out of Order. Watch, uh, I'm doing, going, what is that other thing you're doing? I'm going to Iceland. You're going to Iceland. Next week? Next weekend. Shoot. Hell yeah. So I'm going to be having some dolphin. So if you're in Iceland, say what's up. Great brown trout out there. <laughs> really? I had brown trout out there. I'm definitely having some Delicious. trout. Delicious. I'm definitely eating nothing but trout. They put some weird sauce on it that I didn't like though. So I had to kind of pick around. Noted. Also, everyone will stare at you. Why? Because you're American. Yeah, they'll have no idea. They will. <laughs> they'll have no idea. Everywhere you go, people just give you the death stare. Really? <laughs> <laughs> You'll walk, and people don't talk to each other in Iceland. Yeah, because they're like not ni- they have like a ninety nine percent suicide rate. Yeah, you walk into a restaurant like with your. You'll walk in. Are you going with your wife? Mm-hmm. Like me and my buddies would walk in, and we'd be like just having a conversation. And we'd walk in and it would be completely silent in a packed restaurant. And then they'd all turn and look at you. Really? And they'd be like, look at these fucking jackasses <laughs> talking. <laughs> talking. It's probably because you and your boys were like fucking rumbling in like a, a T-ball team after practice. Pretty or some much. Shit yeah. Like but that. it's like, I mean, you're going into like, it's not even like, a, you're going into like a bar. You'd expect it to be like, dude, you'd, you'd go to a bar, you'd sit at a table. Everyone around you would just be in complete silence, like couples. Just sitting there with their drink, just being like, again, another day. <laughs> They're all just fucking humming yeah. on Accutane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I respect it. I but respect it's great. It. It's a fun time. I look forward to it to being nothing like you said. <laughs> it, we, we'll have such different experiences. <laughs> I guarantee we will. Where are you going? Iceland. I know, where? Iceland. <laughs> uh, the south coast. South coast. So like Reykjavik? Flying into Reykjavik and then going south from there. Are you going down to Kev? I'm not going all the way over to Kev. I'm not trying to spend my time in the city. We got cities in fucking America. Not too bro. many of us. <laughs> Why Kev is to... not a city. Keflavik? Bro, this... Oh, Kev. I was thinking of another one. Kev is very close to Reykjavik. I don't fucking know. I'm not know. going to the city. I'm staying know. in the fucking wilderness. I'm going out there to get in touch with Mother Nature. Hell yeah. It's going to be sweet. All right. Well... Good luck. I guess we'll talk about that more on Monday. We're going to see you twice again before then. So Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I blew my load. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, of course. Thanks for doing it.